so we do have functions of stock i'll take upon the first function that is real time monitoring and management right so we will be talking about data aggregation we will be talking about data correlation we will be talking about multiple things so let's understand them by one by one right so functions of stock team so there are three major functions of stock which we are going to cover so the first major function is real time monitoring management one of the same thing so in order to do the real time monitoring and management we do require two things aggregation and correlation so let's understand each of them as the name suggest aggregation what do you say in this particular phase all of your logged data right collecting data from multiple sources to one centralized location and storing it in one centralized location like from where i can collect network devices computers servers switches firewall ids ips routers websites databases right so all of these i will be collecting it to one centralized location for analysis for investigations for finding out any suspicious activities and to create report upon the same right so that's what we do call as aggregation clear guys so all of these data we will be collecting to one source and once we have collected now in order to do the analysis and all before going to that part we need correlation to be done now what is correlation let's understand that right as the name suggest correlate now guys just one scenario one example i would say let's say my website got compromised right so where i will get alerts i'll get alert on my ids that some sort of intrusion happened my firewall web application firewall give me the alert right my web server will be giving me the logs so all of three all three of them are pointing that something has happened to the website so this is basically like ids is giving some point baf is giving some point web server is giving some point so what i do is i combine all three of them i correlate all of these things i correlate up over here so that i can understand what exactly have happened up over there to find out that my website is being compromised that's what we do call as correlation right in this phase two or more event logs are combined to learn the intelligence of occurred suspicious event so that it can help us to understand the whole incident scenario right so it's not a directly this particular type of process there are certain steps which we do in order to correlate the step one is normalization so as the name suggest we are doing normalize like they are you are generating the logs from your firewall you are generating the uh, logs from your ids ips all of their formats all of their timestamps will be totally different different right so normalization will be part where you will be reformatting logs into one single one single type so that you can understand that at this particular time at this particular activity this particular activity has happened right so it will be helping us to eliminate the redundant log entries right like the duplicacy we will be able to eliminate which we have collected from thousands of devices to make it more concise if your same device is having multiple logs saying the same thing on same time stamp another device is also saying the same thing on same time stamps so you can pick one up over there and one you can add plus one to the log source up over there so that you will be having the elimination of your redundant log even entries which you have collected from thousands of devices right to make it more concise that's what as the part of normalization right and right after normalization we do have categorization right as the name suggests categorization so we will be classifying its internal thread cloud trace vulnerability critical data inside the thread these type of categorization over here you are doing the correlation and you are getting these particular parts right so categorization will be it will be classifying the event logs systematically in order to make it more easier for us 
to understand the correlation that okay these things has been correlated in order to tell us that website was being compromised right so grouping the event logs into specific categories classifying them into particular specific categories between two or more event logs will be the part of categorization clear So team as the name suggests prioritization right now is it uh, possible to get only one alert at a time no right we will be getting thousands of alerts on a specific given time so which alert you are going to pick up first which alert is more impactful to your organization which can be more harmful to your organization so these will be decided up over here with the help of severity right so once the suspicious event logs are identified there concerning with which particular type of revenue generating IT systems needs to be find out and which particular system will be needing the immediate response will be prioritized up over here in your step 3 prioritization clear team so that's what we do call as prioritization so these are three major steps which we do 